Hi students, welcome back. Let's take another example to construct a PDA. Okay, so in the previous video, I taken one example. I hope it will understand. You already understand. If not, no problem. Let's see this example. So construct push down automata for the given language. They are given language as a power n b power m so in the previous video i had taken a power n b power n means uh, uh, the same number of a's will be followed with the same number of b's but here uh, a elements so are it's not following means you can take a a b b b like that means the different number of a's and the different number of b's but a should be for b should be followed by a only okay so such that n should be greater than or equal to m and m should be greater than or equal to 1. So n should be greater than m. That is one condition. So but m is greater than or equal to 1. That means n is obviously greater than 1. Because it should be greater than or equal to 1. So n is greater than 1 and m is greater than or equal to 1. Let's start that. Okay, so at least it has one B. This means what it means, what represent means. At least, at least one B should be there. One B is there. And two A's should be there. Why I am saying two A's? Because N is greater than or equal to M. So one B and two A's should be there. Two A's should be that so this is the condition so the examples let me take the example is like this language consisting of two is and minimum one b the starting should be two is minimum one b and any number of a's like this but here a should be more and b should be less that should that is a string now let's start the uh, transition diagram for this uh, i need to construct the push down automator for this starting Let's take a string. Whatever the string you want, you can take that. But uh, it has to satisfy complete language. You have to design the PDA uh, like that. It has to take whatever the string you have taken. It has to be accepted by all the push down automata. This language. It has to be accepted by this language. So if a stack is uh, stack empty, place zero in stack, which indicates the stack is empty. So starting it is the Q naught. Okay, Q naught. So first is it is an empty state. Let's take the epsilon. Empty state. Z naught. So this is an empty stack. You can call it as an empty stack. So in that empty stack, we push to push Z0. That means nothing is there. This represents an empty stack. We have pushed Z naught onto the empty stack. Now first read the first element. That is A has to be read. A has to be read. So, A is the input element that I want to read. But the stack contains Z0. Okay, top of the stack contains a Z0. So, I want to read the A. Now, the top becomes A Z0. Input is a A. And the Z0 is the top of the stack that contains. I push A onto the top of the stack. So, this has to be repeated until any number of A's that are present. Like that. So, A is the stack contains at the number of a's okay and the top of the stack i want to read the input next input a okay whatever the a that is there i want to read the next input a and the top of the stack it already contains the a okay now the top contains a a okay it means the stack contains a so this has to be repeated multiple times a a a a a, a like that the stack contains all those things so this is completely for a's is it clear or as a a a a so any number of a's this will be the language now coming to next the next input i have written is the read is the b so whenever i read the input b the a which is present on the top of the stack has to be pop has to be pop whenever i read the another input new input b it is changing the state so 1b is over so suppose if bb is there or bbb so many b's are there so you have to write like this so whenever the input b has written a has to be pop on the top of the stack there's a meaning of this transition now 
okay i read all the b's on the top of the stack uh, so there is nothing there to read uh, element whatever the string that i have given so all the b's i have uh, read and i i pop the all elements on the stack now there is nothing to read on the input string that is a epsilon now the top of the stack is also empty now the top of the stack is also empty so just see whatever i am writing i am i am explaining in words now that there is nothing to read on the top of the stack okay there is no element that has to be pop on the string means the extra a in the stack only one a is there in the uh, nothing to pop only one a is there in the stack extra a in the stack obviously extra a should be there because the number of a's are more than the number of b's because n is greater than or equal to m so finally suppose if epsilon epsilon like this the string can be accepted in the final state but here in this example there is an extra a is in there so there is an extra a in the stack a in the stack whenever the extra a in the stack means it is accepted q2 it is an accepted the string whenever the input changes the symbol we have to move to another another and the state and the pop the element in the stack so this is how you need to construct the pda for the given language thank you